I did not think you would speak to me willingly, Jedi. Now that our alliance of convenience is no longer necessary. Alliance nothing. You work for me. Just as I would have said it, Jedi. But if I am to work for you, you must strive towards something. Perhaps together, we can fill the void on the Emperor's throne. Your people speaking of the Empire sound like a distorted echo. When I was born, we thought the rest of the galaxy to be mystery and legend. We had been alone for a thousand years. What was it like? I can't even imagine. We were what you made us. In my youth, Jedi were how you threatened errant children. Obey your masters or the Jedi will obliterate you. For thousands of years, we had total control of a hundred star systems. Then the Jedi drove us to the farthest fringe of the galaxy. The Emperor had subjugated thousands of species. Every non-force user was enslaved. They were safe and served to their own capability. This is hardly worth debating. I gain nothing from understanding how your Republic's fools view the galaxy. I am surprised that once your council finishes its brainwashing, any Jedi has a spine left to oppose the Emperor. Perhaps you are young enough to still cultivate the strength of the Sith. I'm open to Sith tricks. What have you got? The dark side is no trick, Jedi. When you release the control the Jedi Council has drilled into you, when you feel anger in your every connection to the Force, when you accept that a woman must use any means necessary to prove her strength, then you will have discovered the dark side. The Emperor is dead at your hand, Jedi. Yet you do not follow up on your victory. Any Sith would have seized the throne by now. Even Revan and the Jedi Exile would have been hard-pressed to resist so tempting a target. You think I could take the Emperor's place? Perhaps I should not have sown such thoughts. They will be difficult to weed out now, no? Even for the Scion of the Jedi? You remind me of Revan. He always had more darkness in him than the Jedi Exile. I like them. I would have served them, but my vision told me they would fail. I cut down the Exile and brought Revan to the Emperor as a gift. Is that what you're planning to do to me? You have killed the Emperor. You are all that I saw in my vision. The only way to live long enough to find the Jedi who would kill the Emperor, to find you, was to convince him to trust me. He took my offering and gave me a place at his side. He gave me immortality. It was a gift, but not without its price. It has been enlightening to spend so much time among you and your Jedi. For three hundred years I have spoken to no one but Sith, and they do not change. They are the same on Korriban now as in my childhood. The same tricks, the same fights, the same groveling and mind control. What reward would they get if they moved out of lockstep? A stab in the back? Most likely. Sith traditions are powerful, but very specific. Sometimes it takes an outsider to open our eyes to new facets of the Force. Revan taught me to be effective when I became the Emperor's Wrath. And now I have learned as much from you. You have opened my eyes as well. And here I thought you weren't listening. The Emperor was the only constant in my 300 years of life. It is hard to grasp his death. When I was born, the Emperor was the Empire. Everything existed to feed his whims. He was so far above us, no one, Sith or slave, would have dared even form an opinion about him. It is in the nature of the Dark Side to crave worship. It is more than the Dark Side. I thought that when I first served him. The Emperor was just a man, isolated by unimaginable power and the inability to trust the scheming sycophants who served him. I was wrong. He was a plague. And I am the only one in the galaxy who understands the full service you did us by destroying him. I tried to reach him, but there was no light left inside. This is not a matter of light versus dark. The immortality he gave me, 
It has a terrible price. Taste, smell, touch, color, emotion. I have felt none of these for 300 years. I do not wish to become as the Emperor and lose all tie to what once made me a man. I now understand why your counsel tries to control your pleasure as well as your anger. Pleasure is a far more powerful motivator. What good is having power if you can't enjoy how it feels? Power is only one of life's pleasures. I still remember the feel of sunlight on my skin. The scent of favorite foods. The color of my first love's eyes. To experience those simple pleasures again would be worth anything. See? You haven't lost your humanity after all. Do not mock me. I understand why your council controls you. What I'll never comprehend is why you let them. You have surprised me, Jedi. You have the heart of a Sith. Had you been born on Korriban, you would be sitting on the Dark Council now. It is too late to turn you fully from the light. But should your children have a connection to the Force, I will see them properly trained. Was that a compliment or a threat? How did you take it? The Force is strong in you. Too strong for the restrictions the Jedi impose. Had you been instructed in the true way of the Force, the galaxy could not match your power. I will make sure that mistake does not happen again.